Hey guys, it's Marella and today I am giving you a chill and get ready with me tutorial on this makeup look I'm wearing. I try to use all new holiday products from different brands, just new collections that have come out this year, but I used a couple of holy grail like old products too. This is a really glowy complexion look with chartreuse eyes. I've been wearing it a lot and I've gotten a lot of people asking me if I can make a tutorial, so of course. I am so in love with these colors. I think that they're like everyday colors, but I think some people would beg to differ. However, do you, you know, wear what makes you happy. It's whatever. I also did a tutorial on this hair look today. These are my favorite beachy waves. And if you would like to see how I got the hair, there is going to be a link in the description below. So don't worry, you can watch all of it. All right guys, but if you like this makeup look and you'd like to see how I got it, then let's get started. Today, I'm gonna look at this Chasing Rainbows by ColourPop palette. Let's see if I can use any of these colors in my look. I don't think so. There is like this nice yellow gold, but I think it's a little more orangey than I want it to be. I might use just like one color from this, maybe this color right here called Blurred Lines. It's like this really light shade and it has a total gold shift. But I did want to show you guys how cute the packaging is for the holiday collection. This peach packaging is so cute, I love it. But I've been using these colors a lot, they're gorgeous. Especially these two together, this is Falling Up and Roy G. Biv. That has nothing to do with this look, I just wanted to show you guys. I do face first, I know that's like annoying for some people, but I just can't get out of the habit. This is the ColourPop foundation stick in light 40N, and I'm actually gonna try to put it under my eyes as concealer as well. It is actually a little cakey under the eye, which I find that a lot of foundations look cakey under the eye. It's just like, sometimes I don't wanna believe that you need two separate products, foundation and concealer, just to do your complexion. And then every time I'm proven that you actually do. But I'm just gonna be lazy and do the foundation anyway because realistically, no one's gonna be looking at my face up close that close, so whatever. Since it's looking a little cakey, I'm gonna take the Hangover RX spray by Too Faced. Just put that all over. This usually helps everything to blend better on my face. And I'm not gonna put a lot of products because my skin is really, really good right now. So I don't really think I need it. I'm just gonna kind of blend it out on the edges. And then I'm gonna show you my secret weapon. This is the Cover FX Perfect Pencil. I believe you can only get it online now. I'm using the color G Light and I have like a little spot right here and then some blemishes on my chin. And I'm going to spot conceal. Whenever I don't wanna do full coverage, which is always because I never want to wear full coverage, I just spot conceal with that. It works wonderfully. Next, I'm going to dip into something I haven't used in a really long time. I have maybe like two uses left in this. This is the MAC by Patrick Star Patrick's Powder. The reason is because I just got a new one today. I'm probably gonna have to buy more even though I got this one sent to me because it's just too good to run out of. So I will blend under my very creasy eyes one more time before I set them. Here I am like, oh, my skin is so good and then just my foundation doesn't look nice. So I'm going to take a small beauty blender and set that powder under my eyes. And a little is not going a long way, so had to read it. And I'm also just gonna set where I crease. Hopefully this makes it so that this like cakey part looks okay. And now I'm taking a brush and some more of the powder and I'm gonna put it on my face. You know what's so funny is a lot of times when I'm powdering my face, I sneeze because the powder just flies into my nose. Even if I didn't put foundation over my entire face, I do powder my entire face because that just helps the other makeup products to lay nicely on it. So I'll even bring it down like under my jaw and onto my neck. Next, this is the MAC Sculpt and Shape light medium contour palette. Pretty sure I talked about it in a favorites video already. I'm going to use the color Emphasize under my eyes. Hopefully this helps that disgusting cakiness because I've learned my lesson, okay? Foundation does not go under the eyes. I'm gonna take Emphasize and I'm gonna put it here above my lip, on my chin, just anywhere where I wanna highlight. And then if you're wondering why these shades all look blurred, it's because I go like this and get all three and I contour with them. I put it into the hollows of my cheeks, the non-existent hollows of my cheeks, let's be real. I've been eating so much since Thanksgiving. Like Thanksgiving and all the leftovers, just, I was like, diet? What diet? Not that I'm usually on a diet, but you know, like I was not eating well at all. And then I'll put it underneath here and drag it down onto my neck a little, which is what the powder is for. Then I'll take those same shades and a smaller brush and I'm just going to contour my nose. And most of the time my process is just so simple for literally every step. I don't take a lot of time on anything because I think the finished product always looks nice. So I think if you spend too much time doing any one thing, perfecting it too much, you end up hating it. At least that's always how I feel. Anytime I'm like, oh yeah, let me really make my eyebrows look so good. I just end up hating them every single time. So I'm like, you know what? 
I'm not doing that anymore. Next, I got this amazing MAC by Patrick Star. Baby, it's gold outside mineralized skin finish. Look at this. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I feel like it should have a mirror. Did mine just not come with a mirror or is it not supposed to come with a mirror? That's strange, right? Anyway, this is gorgeous. I think I'm just gonna kind of like put it all over. I didn't really have a plan with this. I was like, oh, this is pretty. I want it on my face. Oh yeah, that looks good, okay. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Just put it like on my cheeks. I'm gonna put a blush over it because I can't live without blush, but I like this. It's kind of like a bronzer on me. I think it might work as a bronzer or a highlight, but look, it kind of gives me like a nice glowy look. Ooh, oh my God, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just like put it on my forehead as well. And on my nose, why not? I don't know, I'm putting it everywhere. Oh, this is so pretty, wow. And then this is the NARS, what brush is this? It doesn't say, it's, I know the name of it. I don't remember. Watch. I'm gonna remember it like after I'm done making this video. But I love this brush. How much of this am I gonna put on? I really wish I had more ColourPop blushes because I think that they're so pretty, but I have none. So let's take this. It is the MAC Shiny Pretty Things Face Compact in Medium Deep, which is actually interesting to me because if you look at these colors, like I can totally wear them and I'm very fair. So I'm gonna take the blush in the middle. I have like so much shine on my cheeks. Oh my God, this is so unlike me because I never wear highlight or anything. Okay. I think that's good. I think. Is it? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna be done with complexion because like I said, whenever I spend too much time on it, I end up hating it. So I'm going to take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I know that I use this all the time. I think I'm gonna blend one of the ColourPop Jelly Much eyeshadows with it. This came out in the holiday collection. This color is called Wide Awake. So I'm just gonna put it all over. I've been seeing a lot of talk on Twitter about putting eyes before face or eyebrows before face or eyebrows before eyes or whatever. And surprisingly, a lot of people think it's weird to do eyebrows last, which I don't really understand because you can see like right now, I mean, whether I'm using my fingers or a brush for this process, I'm going so close to my eyebrow and I don't wanna mess it up. Like if it was already done, the hairs could move or the product could spread. And that's just not what I'm trying to to accomplish here like I want my eyebrows to be perfect so I do them at the end you know and I feel like if you do them first then you're bound to mess them up it just doesn't make sense to me especially when I'm doing my complexion because I'm just like putting the powder all over my face so if my eyebrows were already done it would like spread my brow gel which stays wet forever and mess up the hairs it just totally doesn't make sense to me to do eyebrows first anyway I'm gonna take more of this jelly much eyeshadow in wide awake and I'm gonna put it under my eyes as well this will kind of just be like an eyeshadow base for me so I'm going to use the strobe Cosmetics Divinity Palette today. I've used this in like all of my Halloween tutorials, but I didn't get to show you guys just using it in a normal tutorial, so I'm gonna wear it today. I'm gonna take this yellow color called Ocean, or Ocean, and I'm going to pack this into my crease. And because it's kind of this like muted yellow, it almost has like this olivey color. And then I'll get more of this color, but I'm also going to tap into the green called Milda. And I'm gonna blend, 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 and just pack those into my crease for like 20 minutes. I'm just kidding. And I'm gonna bring it up like as high as I want, which means, you know, just do this at your discretion. And then I'm going to take those colors underneath my eye as well, but I'm gonna focus it more on the outer corner and I'm gonna make sure that it connects with the upper lid of shadow right here in the corner. I'll take a little more yellow and just kind of like blend it out, blend it out here. Okay, so I like the way that's looking. Now I'm going to take this color right here by ColourPop. It's the Super Shock Shadow called IRL or In Real Life. And I'll just take it on my finger. You can see it doesn't have a lot of color. It's more like a very soft color with a lot of sparkle. And it kind of shifts from like green to a burnt rust color. Anyway, I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. And then I'll also put it underneath my eye just kind of like at the inner corner. Then I'll also take this shade called telepathy this was actually a kathleen lights collection and it's not a holiday new product at all but the color oh, this color is just to die for so i'm going to put it on the center of my lid going towards the inner corner and you can see it's like super bright it just really really pops so I'm not going to completely cover that color IRL that I put on first because it went all over my entire lid. This one I'm only putting from the center to the inner corner. So they're just gonna kind of blend together. And then I will also put this under my eye right here and here. And yes, I'm using my finger for this entire process. And you know what? I think I'm gonna not 
put an inner corner color because I just like this a lot. So I actually haven't been highlighting my inner corner for like an entire year, which is so funny because I used to be obsessed with an inner corner highlight. And now I'm like, why did I like that so much? I don't get it. Which kind of means that I highlight nothing because I never wear highlights. <laughs> So really my eyes are like chartreuse. Is chartreuse considered a tone of yellow or green? You decide, man. So I guess I didn't end up using the Chasing Rainbows palette. My lips are so dry. This is the Drunk Elephant. I think it's just lip balm, but it looks like it says lippy balm. So next I'm gonna do eyeliner. I'm using the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. And I've said it in like so many videos, I'm pretty fast at this now. And I pretty much have to wear eyeliner every day because it makes my eye look significantly bigger than when I don't. You know what I've learned about eyeliner is you can't really teach anyone like a specific way to do it because you just have to know your eye shape. Like I can say, oh, my eyes are almond shaped and they're like kind of big and they tilt downward at the corner, but not even my two eyes are the same. So eyeliner is really just an art that you have to learn. If they're pretty much the same, then I just move on. I don't really try to perfect them. I'm not even gonna lie. Now I have to do eyebrows before mascara because they touch each other. So eyebrows have to be done. I'm trying to think of what I should use because I've been using this hourglass pencil a lot. So I'm gonna try to use something different. I'll just use the Benefit Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil today. All right, so if you wanna know what I did, I just filled in the parts that are not dark enough. Like I have this little space here. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna kinda of go over the top, the arch, and then down into the tail. I think they look even. So now I'm gonna use the Ultimate Holy Grail Brow Gel, the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This holds your eyebrow hairs in place so well. There's nothing better that I've ever used. A lot of them just like shape your eyebrow hairs, but you can move them. And this makes it so that they're stuck in place, which sounds weird, but it is exactly what I need. My eyebrow hairs are just so mobile. And that, ladies and gents, is why I do my eyebrows nearly last. Okay, so for mascara, I'm gonna take the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I have this little sample that I already opened, so I didn't wanna open my large size because I do have the full size, but like, that's just a waste. I love this mascara for my bottom lashes, but not so much for my top lashes, but I'm using it because I've been using it for probably a couple weeks now in order to review it for you guys. So even though it's not my favorite, I'm making that sacrifice. And now I will apply it to my top lashes and this part's boring. So we're gonna just like skip through it a lot and you get the general idea. Honestly though, this eye looks terrible because my eyelashes have been falling out, which happens once every few months. It's so annoying. Now for lipstick. MAC and Patrick Star came out with a new holiday collection, matched that highlighter that I showed you guys or mineralized skin finish and the powder. So I definitely wanna wear one of these. I think that this one is red. Yeah, it is. So I'm not gonna wear the red because because this eye just seems like it would not go with a red lip at all. Then there's another one here called Spank Me Santa. Oh my God. And Peachy Peter. This one seems like it's gonna be really light on me, but I wanna wear it anyway. So I'm probably, let, hold on, let's just see. Ooh. That's, um, it's gonna need to be mixed. So I'm gonna put this one on the top lip so we can just see what they look like separately. Okay, okay. Spank Me Santa is definitely my kind of color. I'll mix it with the Peachy Peter. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, love. I always put on lip liner after. I know, weird. But I think I'm gonna put on this Ilo Sorry by ColourPop Lip Pencil in Curvy. I feel like it'll match. I'm not really sure, but oh yeah, it's a pretty good match, okay. All right, so the makeup is done. Here's what the full face looks like. It's super glowy. I love this eye look though so much. It's like a little bit bold, yes, because the color is pretty bright, but I think it's super wearable for every day. My opinion on what is wearable for every day is probably not the same as like the general population because I have a soft spot for certain bright colors and I'm just like, wear whatever you want. I know that that's a little more on the wild side, but hey, who cares? So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to work on this hair and then I'll come back. 
All right, guys, so that is it for my chill and get ready with me. I'm obsessed with this look. I think it could look good on so many different skin colors and eye colors and just everyone. <laughs> Don't forget, if you want to see how I got this hair, the link is in the description. If you like this whole look, please give this video a thumbs up for me. Please subscribe to me if you haven't already. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.